Prospector Paul show. Hey, we made it to Alaska. We got through the fires. Oh, wow. We got through the floods. We even got through the earthquake the other day. But everything's going pretty good. We're out, uh, you know, doing some test panning, trying to find some areas. And we got us a little bucket of cons here. I'd say about a half a five-gallon bucket. We got the Gold Hog multi sluice set up. Got a spanning tub. And we got us some jet dry in there. So we're going to run this here bucket. And we're going to talk about the uh, June Patreon giveaway. So first place is going to be a gram of gold. Uh, second place is going to be a half a gram of gold. And I gotta still dig out a third place prize out of the trailer, so I'll get that going as soon as I can. In the meantime, I'm gonna run this this Bob cons here and see what we get. So today we're gonna go out and do some dredging. We got a uh, dam built. I got some footage of that on the drone here. I'll probably insert that now. But yeah, we'll get that we'll get that uh, dredge going. We got it all set up. We're gonna get our lessons from Blake here and do some long arming. We're gonna punch us a hole. So that we can get a, a six inch dredge in there and we also got us a five inch the other day so i believe what we're going to do is we'll get this six inch set up today well the punch the hole with the four inch today to get the six inch set up then we're going to build another dam upstream from there and get this five inch going as well so i think the plan is to be sluicing uh, or dredging uh three maybe four days a week and uh, high bank in the other days so we've been out scouting around looking for, uh, you know, some good places to dig. We did like 25 test pans last night, found a pretty good area. And uh, that'll move the machine down, had a pretty exciting uh, cleanup. And uh, we're hoping to get back in that spot, clean up some trees and set that up for the customers. If you'd like to come to the Skookum Gold Camp, we do have a few openings left. And uh, with the price of gold going up the way it is, you might want to think about doing that pretty quick here but it's uh it's cool this time of the year and uh is it going to get better the old multi sluice is running good we're getting down there on the cons it's nice and easy i love this little multi sluice it works great does a good job and uh the tailings get caught in this tub. I'll take these tailings and screen them down to, to 30 mesh. And uh, we'll rerun it. And there'll be some micro poop in there. But very rarely do I find a piece that you know should have been caught in the first run. So she's a pretty darn good machine. And uh, I like using it. It's nice and simple. Quick cleanup. It's a good machine. Alright. So I'm going to go in the trailer in a few minutes. And... Uh, we're going to pull up all the $5 tier members, and we're going to draw for the finalist. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the $5 tier members. We have Brian Carlson, Joe Countryman, Thomas Watson, Robert Lusk, Leslie Spencer, and Outdoor Wally. Let's find out who the $5 finalist is. And she's just coming around on the old wheel here. And it is Thomas Watson. Congratulations, sir. You are the $5 finalist. Well, that was fun. I think we'll go and uh, draw for the $10 finalist. What do you think? Okay, let's take a look at the $10 tier. We have Mark Ladner, Richard Billen, Lisa Largent, Dan Johnson, Jeannie, and Bo Diddley. Let's give the old wheel a spin and see what happens. She's coming around. Do, 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 do. It looks like Mr. Richard Billen. Congratulations, sir. Good. 
All right, we're gonna draw for that $25 finalist and find out who our three uh, participants are on the wheel. All right, so we have our $25 members on the wheel. We have Dwight Huffman, HD Shovelhead, David Vanderwall, Tortuga Lisa, and Jack. Let's see who the finalist is. I always want to say qualifier. Finalist. Unbelievable. Of course. <laughs> All right, Tortuga Lisa, here you are in the finals again. Well, we're making short work of this bucket. Why don't we draw and find out who the winner is this month for the month of June? Okay, now we have all the finalists on the wheel. This is for first place, the Grandma Gold. And we're going to see who wins that. Everybody gets an equal shot, no matter how much you pay and which tier you're in. And it is, well, doesn't matter which way it goes. It's going to be Tortuga Lisa is going to get the Grandma Gold. Congratulations, Lisa. I'm pretty sure I got your address. We will get that in the mail for you from Central Alaska. We're going to take Lisa off the wheel. And we're going to find out who our second place winner is. We have Tom Watson and Richard Billen duking it out here on the side. And it looks like... What the heck? Mr. Billen. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Half a gram of gold coming your way. And that would make... And that leaves Mr. Watson for third place. We got some... Uh, Oh, some pins here. We got a GPAA pin, and we have the uh, Fairbanks pin that I bought in town here. It was kind of cool. Actually, I bought that in Arizona. Excuse me. There was a vendor set up down there, and uh, he helped support the uh, metal detecting class I gave, so I made sure I bought a few things from him, and now he's supporting our uh, Patreon giveaway. All right, that's going to do it for this month. Thanks to each and every one of you folks for being in the uh, Patreon. I really do appreciate it. It goes a long, long way, especially up here in Alaska. And I uh, couldn't do it without you. Again, thanks for watching the show. We'll get some videos going here pretty quick. It's just been, uh, well, we've been super busy trying to punch these holes for the dredges. And then uh, with the fires, the floods, and all that, I didn't get some great footage going through the Canada. I intend to, uh, hopefully, we get some nice weather when I go back down and uh, we'll get to do what I wanted to do on the way up and make some fantastic videos. All righty. Well, we done run that and of course there's no gold in Alaska so there's none in that riffle. That one doesn't have any. Uh, there's none there. You know, just typical Alaskan dirt. Good thing is I'm not seeing anything down on the far end so I'm sure there's a couple better pieces. Yeah, there's a nice little one right there. A nice little picker. Right under that white rock. Right there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No gold in Alaska, boys. Don't know why he'd come. Ooh, there's another one. Sweet. Cool. All right, we got rid of a few skeeters, so I took the head net off. Yeah, nice little cleanup. That works for me. I can't believe all this dust. I mean, that is absolute dust in this corner. That darn... Uh, that darn gold hog stuff. I mean, everything will catch gold, you know, catch the dust and stuff, but I'm always impressed with that gold hog because I know how much dirt we're shoving in there. So that works. All right. Congratulations to the winners, and uh, we'll see you next month. Woohoo! Prospector Paul here. We're doing it, baby. Look at that old boy. Them rocks out of there. Go, go, go. Get that dredge going, man. We want dirty water. <laughs> right now we're making a hole so we can drop the six inch dredge in here and it's going to take a little work getting her down here <laughs> but we'll get her we'll be on the go but yeah old Dwight's doing pretty good I got my chance at the nozzle kind of long arming on that shore over there it was pretty cool actually uh, I didn't have to put my face underwater it was just long arming and working with the uh behind that big rock there there wouldn't be any ripples on the water and I could see what was going on this is definitely cool I like this I can't imagine what that six inch will move I mean this this four inch is punching an okay hole but uh 
I mean, she's moving material. That six is really going to move material. Thank <laughs> you. 